Hey guys, morning. Welcome to another wonderfully wet week at work. We are looking to get rid of all this today. Trucks are all booked in. They're coming in to uh, pick that up, so I'm going to go and open up the job and uh, make a start of it. So, so we're, while we're waiting for the truck to turn up to get rid of all this, so I'll uh, get the plans out, go for it, show you exactly what's going on, because I haven't shown you uh, what the idea of doing all this is. First thing you need to do before you even think about doing a job like this is you need plans and you need planning permission. If you don't have that, then you will have your house knocked down if you actually get round to actually building it. It's happened to someone, uh, oh, I can't say recently, but it happened to some guy, he built a like a five bedroom mansion or something like that behind a block of uh, block of hay and uh, took the hay bales down and it was there and then the council obviously clocked onto that and they were like no we're not having that so they told he had to tear it down over a million pounds had to put it down so for this we've got all the planning permission we need we've got everything we need so we're good to go so i'll get the plans out and go through and show you what's going on the set of plans that we're going to be using first off right so um this hashed area here is going to, all this is bird's eye view by the way, plan view. So every time I say plan, it's top down. So we have this line here, which is going to be the uh, top down view of the building. And if you look over here, imagine this mirrored over. This dark line in bold is essentially going to be house A. So it's this house, but mirrored over, that's where it's going to be. All the rest of these lines, that in here, all around here, is existing building. So that's what stands there now. This is what will be there. If you don't know what you're looking at, this can be very confusing. But I'm going to try and explain as much as I can in a short amount of time because we've got plenty to get on with. So this is where the building's going. Earlier I was walking along here. And uh, this is the front of the job. And all that dirt is all piled up along here. And the big bank is along here. So the truck's going to come in here, take all that, and then drive out through here. But yeah, so I was walking there. The existing house is there, this is what we're doing and do. Right, okay, so I'll bring you to a bit of information here. FFL 51445. FFL is finished floor level, top of slab level, which will be the top of the block and beam floor, and it gives you the uh, measurements, the heights of what they have to be. And if you can see over here, when the surveyor did the original surveying of the land, he marked on loads of different datum levels. So, uh, where is it? That's the centre of the drop kerb. There's the, where the kerb goes up, and then more points where the kerb. They are, they're everywhere. Like you've got some in the driveway, just random points that he's taking the driveway. You got on the top of the bank. You got them further in the back, and they're just, they're just everywhere. So what I'm going to do is to get the height of this to make sure it doesn't get built too high or too low. I have to take one of these points, these datum levels, and take it, take this height off of this but in all honesty I don't really use these kind of uh, measurements so what I've done is I've asked the architect to do another set of drawings like this but he's taking this point the drop curb point and he's changing this um, the datum to millimeters so I know that in the center of the curb he's going to drop down however many millimeters to get the top of the building it just makes more sense for me because I'm not I'm not familiar with these sort of um, measurements so I've just got them to do it that way anyway so how do we the, the first thing we need to do is to set out where this building is going to go now to do that we have to pay attention it says it says here setting out lines perpendicular to existing wall now this corner here is uh, a corner of the old kitchen in the existing house now what we need to do is get some string lines and pull that because essentially this wall, that that's the corner that wall stops there and then this line here is where we need to put a string line because we need to essentially make this wall all the way, make this, with string line, make it long all the way through, essentially pretend that the wall's running all the way through here. 
and again with this wall we need to make it with another string line from this point here all the way through here so that we can get it square and these measurements here mean that this is going to dictate where the front of the house is but it steps back 4250 millimeters well that'll be the center line for the foundation and this side will be 3000 millimeters well three meters back from this line so we have to pull these lines through here with string and uh, setting out boards a load of pegs which I'll go through in a minute what how, how we do that so yeah that is essentially how we set out the front well how we set out the building because once you've got this line through here set up with a few boards on either end and a string line going through you need to square it up from here along there and you, so you get boards at either end and then tie it on with a bit with the the string and run it straight through so that is how the first part of this is going to get done there's tons of other information on here but i'm not going to go through it because we'll be here forever i'm going to put up another video after this episode which is just me for about 20 minutes going through the, there's tons more drawings so it's about 20 minutes of me going through each drawing like elevations plans and th there's just so much to it so even that it, the 20 minutes is going to be me quickly going through the plans because there's so much information on them but yeah that's pretty much the size of it at the moment so uh, let's uh, get going and start making a mark on this job So I doubt we're going to have this done today. We uh, the truck came in, as you can see here, came here and took a load from out of there. Then he got stuck. So these deep divots here, we've been digging them out for the past that hour or so. He had to unload his, uh, unload it all over here, dug it out. We got him out, and he had to take another load from over here, from there. So it's a good hour or so. I don't really know what the time was, but it was a good, good what's the time now, half 11. It was a good hour or so before we had him out and then he had to load up again and then he went, so I doubt we're getting all that done today. Because we've got uh, so much chance of falling into the dirt and getting stuck, what we're doing is where I left the hardcore up here for the patio to go on. He's going to stay here, he's gonna, as you can see, he's going to dig out, dig out, dig out from there. I'll just get the digger and just keep putting it forward so he doesn't get stuck. Hopefully, that'll work. Can't see what I wouldn't. He's finishing up on uh, the last side of the day. You see, we've got a hell of a lot done, even though we could get stuck. So he's going to uh, come out tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to, I've got to dig down about a foot, as I said, for where the building's going to go. So I've got to dig that down in the morning, pile it all up over there. He'll have the vast majority of that done now, but he's going to come tomorrow afternoon and then we'll have that all finished. So, and then we can uh, hopefully, so that'll be Tuesday tomorrow, hopefully Wednesday. Tuesday will be clear Wednesday and we'll start setting out for the building. Go through, start pegging it out, get some lines up, get some, uh, get some string out and set it all out. Get it all nice and square, done to the drawings. So, not a bad day today really, considering a bit of a f*** up, but hey, these things happen. You're going to get little problems no matter what happens. If we did this entire job without a problem, I'd, it, it just ain't going to happen. So, little problems you've got to work out, you overcome them and you carry on. Yeah good day today so continue this again tomorrow so today is we've got to dig a foot down right underneath where the house is going to go so we're going to take it outside set it out roughly and then just dig dig down pile it all up and then truck come pick it up later right so for where I've got to dig I have to dig basically nine of those buckets there all the way through here up to the great wall of dirt 
across here, basically all of this section, the section that I thought was going to be the patio, is actually where the building's going. And I've got to cut it through in line with that building, all the way through there. So all of this section here, it's got to come out down by at least a foot. So we've got plenty of digging and I kind of made a bit of a fuck up there. All that hardcore left in there's got to come out. Bit of a pain, but I'm not the present, let's get on with it. wait for the digger, the grab loader mate to come and get it because I still need to go back probably another six feet maybe and I think I also need to go down a little bit more but I'm going to let him take that and that hardcore first because I just don't have enough room and it looks like we're running a bit low on juice anyway. We'll fill this up with a bit of juice and then uh, we're ready to go. It's quarter to six, so that's me done for the day. We've got the uh, basic area marked out, pretty much the size of it. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow, get that all done, hopefully get that all done. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys once, uh, once that's all done. All right, no worries, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, how are we going? We're back, skip today. Got everything done that needed to get done. As you can see, I'm gonna show you this is where I'm going to build the house or a swimming pool depending on which way you look at it maybe it's a swimming pool, we have wrong, wrong country for a swimming pool uh, got rid of all the dirt, all the sand that was up there, it's all gone, everything's done I'm ready to go, so today I'm going to get the plans out and we're going to do some setting out start marking out, get the digger back out and dig out some footings so let's get cracking right, as you're doing any, any construction, any building first stage, the setting out stage, this stage is by far the most important part of any job. Purely because you do not want to build a house in the wrong place or at the wrong height because it would probably go against everything that the planning permission is saying. You might even have to knock the whole thing down and start again at an extraordinary cost. So double check, triple check, quadruple check at the beginning to make sure you ain't got any mess ups down the line. So this is how we do it. As you can see here, I've got one set of drawings, two set of drawings. Yeah, these are pivotal in how it's going to get set out. So, as you can see here, this is the building that's going to go in the swimming pool area. Now, to set it out, we have to go off the co this corner here of the original building, which is way over there, that corner right, don't know if you can see it, right there. But I'll go over to that and do it. So, from that corner it comes out this in this line we have to make a get a string line and have a perfect line going all the way through here and we also off this wall we need a perfect line going all the way through here so in, in sense you get a triangle um a rectangle oh yeah a triangle from there and then we use all that to get this set out square so that is the plan now move over to this set of drawings now this set of drawings 
is specifically for the house and as you can see you got measurements all over the place measurements everywhere it also tells cl foundation which is center line foundation so this line running through here which will be where the string line goes is going to be where you dig the center of the bucket of the digger so you run that all the way around there and then obviously one going straight through the middle there and yeah all the way around so you've got uh, all the dimensions here like 1500 yep so all the dimensions are in there and that will sit there so those two are there so we use these and we use these but first off those two string lines there so let's go so i've set this string line up that runs all the way through on on that building this is a straight line as you're going to get with a string line uh, i've set up this little contraption to hold them where they are the posts these are going to be dotted everywhere on every corner for every string line to run off so you don't knock them they don't fall over this one is going to be going dictating where the front of the building is and now we're going to run around and set up and load more this one is going to have to be plumbed down using a level to down here and then taken through there but get this one and that other line through there set up first. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I don't quite know what's happened here. The only thing I can imagine that I use this little action camera here and I have a feeling I had it set on time lapse mode when I took all this footage, but I've tried slowing it down and for some reason I just, it's just not, I can't slow it down properly. I get it to a point where you can't understand what it's saying, but anyway. Essentially what I'm saying is I've got a load of the stuff set out, a load of the lines set up, a load of the boards are set up and it started hammering it down with rain so I busted it out of there and um, the other thing that I was saying was that the big the big bank of earth it looked like wave rock in Australia that was pretty much the size of it but I can't rescue this footage and now I'm editing it seven months later I can't exactly go out and reshoot it so that's what essentially what I was saying in the next episode um, I will continue on and finish the setting out but as as it comes i'll leave this episode here so if you enjoyed this episode like subscribe if you've got anything to say about this comment down below if there's anything that you want to uh, want me to make a video about in the future put it down in the comments i'll read through them and uh, if there's something that looks like i can do it then i'll make a video about that but yeah hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll get back and try and see if i can fix some of this out so take it easy have a good one